Hey Warriors! For today's tech how-to, we will be discussing how to dress professionally for an interview. I have Candela and Sandra here with me to show you the do's and don'ts of interview attire. First, let's take a look at what Sandra is wearing. She chose a black skirt with a white dress shirt. Although some of her items are professional, there are a few things that are not interview appropriate. Let's look at her shoes. Ladies, you want to make sure you always have closed toe shoes, no sandals or flip-flops. If you choose to wear heels, make sure your heel height is no more than two to three inches. What if they take you on a company tour? What if you have to meet with different people in other buildings? Would you be comfortable walking in six inch heels? Think about it. Now, we're going to talk about her skirt. When going to an interview, you want to avoid wearing a skirt that goes above your knees. Think about how your skirt will rise when you sit down. Your skirt should be mid-knee length or below, but not floor length. Lastly, we will take a look at her shirt. You want to avoid tank tops and shirts that reveal your shoulder, such as this one. Also, you should complement your look with a blazer. Now we will let Sandra make the changes so she is ready for her interview. Let's move on to Candela. She is wearing black pants with a blue dress shirt. She complemented her look with this great pair of black shoes. Take a look at the heel. Great choice, Candela. Now let's talk about her hair. Did she just get up from bed? Her hair is not styled professionally and it covers her eyes. Ladies, make sure your hair is clean and styled appropriately to meet your potential boss. Next, we will look at her accessories. Choose simple earrings and one to two additional pieces of jewelry, such as a watch or a necklace. Avoid choosing jewelry that could be a distraction to your interviewer. Keep it simple and minimum. Another thing to consider as you prep yourself for an interview is your makeup. Go for a simple, conservative look and choose neutral colors for your lipstick and eyeshadow. Don't overdo the blush. You should also be careful with the amount of perfume you wear at an interview. Your potential employer could suffer from allergies or have a sensitive nose, so keep it very minimum. All these suggestions are to ensure that your interviewer is focusing on your skills without any distractions from your appearance. Now this is how you should be dressed for an interview. Great job, ladies. For more information about professional dress, contact the Career Center.